Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Shan Mao here. Today in this video, we have something really small, actually tiny, but extremely interesting and addicting at the same time to play with or to fly and to FPV. Don't forget that we have tiny FPV systems coming from Ishin and I have just received the super lightweight 4.5 grams only, the newest 25 MW and 200 MW video transmitters all in one video transmitters and cameras we will go for the video review of their own separately in this video once again something tiny something really exciting very addicting to fly and play with it is jjrc h36 sitting right behind me jjrc used to be el cheapo i mean they were releasing really really cheap products well they still do but honestly speaking they have improved in quality so right here in my hand is the JJRC H36. Once again, I would like to say it is really an addicting mini quadcopter that you would love to play for hours and hours. You will be, you will be charging the batteries again and again and you'll be wishing you ordered more batteries. Now this actually looks very close to inductress or tiny whoop. Well, you cannot blame Chinese manufacturers. This does look very, very similar to Inductress or Tiny Whoop that people are posting videos about and doing FPV. So the question is, can this mini little quadcopter do FPV or not? Ta-da! Check this out. This is H36 JJRC, if my camera will focus, because camera will focus on me. But anyway, right here, this is the JJRC H36 converted to FPV right here at home. And I actually was flying it and it is a lots of lots of fun. The only issue I'm having is that time by time it will just fall hard because it does not have that much power so probably we will need some um, a powerful battery probably and of course more powerful motors nonetheless right outside the box JJRC H36 is gonna make you addicted to flying it this is extremely this is honestly extremely addicting I am actually charging the battery so often and flying it and of course, right outside the box, you can slap an FPV system, tiny Ishin FPV system on top of it and enjoy FPV for, let's say, one or two minutes at least or until you upgrade the motors. So, enough talking. I know I get excited and get carried away. Let me take it outside the box and show you what are the components, what do you get inside the box and then we'll fly it right away, FPV it right away. Because it is so small, so I'm just gonna hold it in my hand and unbox it right here for you. You get a USB charger and a tiny 150 milliamp 3.7 volt battery. You get a user manual. Do read it because this little quadcopter has a headless mode and one key auto return to home feature. Based on compass of course, but it's still it does flips, uh, aerobatics, and one key return to home with headless mode. All right, so do read that user manual. After that, you might want to take off the top, and after you have taken off the cover, be gentle, be romantic, be loving, because this little baby here is so beautiful, so tiny, and so cute, and so excitingly interesting that it does need your loving touch. And yes, after your loving touch, when you fly it, you want to go hardcore on it because with these ducted fans on it, I mean these ducted guarded uh, fans or blades on it, hit it anywhere, hit the walls, hit, hit all the obstacles that you can do, fly it hardcore because this baby is designed to take crashes, designed to fly hardcore. So if you want to fly it soft and gentle, you're going to make it angry. You might want to look at the radio system, which is the last thing. And, ta-da! 
this is the radio system and remember for me my hands are small I feel really really nice about it but people with bigger hands they might use just one hand to control it but anyway it will still fit in bigger hands you will still feel it all right to fly this little baby and I believe there is one more thing in the box and that is the little tiny spare blades. This quadcopter is using four blades propellers and you have got the spares. Well, already it is really difficult to break these propellers because of these guards and ducts around them. But still, if you are that hardcore pilot that you manage to break one propeller, there are four more propellers inside the box. Alright, okay, one moment. If you open the cover, uh, the shell, you can see the PCB down here. Okay, this is the PCB, the only heart and soul of this quadcopter. And remember, as the battery connects here, right behind it, you have positive and negative terminals. So all you gotta do is solder your FPV, tiny FPV system power to it and you will power the FPV system from the same battery. As I said, it will reduce your flight time, but at least that one or two minutes are worth, worth flying FPV on it. And you don't have to spend money buying tiny whoops, inductress, buying a spectrum radio or free sky radio and all those calibrations and tweaking the PIDs. This thing will fly FPV right outside the box given that you have the new tiny Ishin super light mini all-in-one FPV system. Well how did I convert it to FPV? Check this out. As I mentioned you just need to solder your black and red connectors on this uh, power connector ports or power connector terminals and after that stick your FPV system on top of it and put the canopy back on. You have an instant tiny FPV quadcopter in your hands. All right, enough talking. Let's fly these babies right away. All right, here we have JJRC S36 and today we are gonna fly it indoor. First, I'm gonna fly the non-FPV version, which is like a standard, it comes like that in the box. I have actually turned it into a mini or micro FPV quadcopter and we'll fly the FPV version later. First, let's fly this one and see how this one is behaving and then we will fly the FPV version. All right, honey, sit down somewhere. Let's fly. Yeah. Sit down there and don't move, okay? Well, using this, uh, well, flying this quadcopter indoors, I'm not much worried about kids here because these propellers are properly ducted and protected. It's very small and hard to see. And it's actually pretty fun to fly. Very agile machine. Let me see. Uh, this is higher speed, I believe. Yes, ooh. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Standard flying mode where it flies nice and stable. Mariam is having difficult time to shoot this one probably. Let's do some flips, shall we? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and let's turn it into a light, shall we? Okay, now we can shoot now. <laughs> Zoom in on it. Ha ha ha! Hands free. Ready? Now we're gonna drop it. Zoom out. And drop! So basically, it's really nice, fun, fast quad talker. Really, really responsive and agile, very fast, and no wobbles at all. This is super smooth. I mean, 
flying FPV on this one is gonna be really fun, I think. Uh oh, I'm hitting the sofa. Let's see what happens if you hit the wall with this one, shall we? So we're gonna hit the wall right here. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. It just basically bumps. And we are gonna stick to all. <laughs> Alright, we fall down, but we take off again. Ani Campbell! <laughs> and what happens if you hit yourself with the quadcopter? Okay, nothing happens. Let me hit myself again. It's rubbing my belly, which is a good feeling. Alright, what happens if you throw it? And hit yourself again. Nothing happens. Alright, now I see the gyro as messed up. So all you need to do is put both the stick downs and in the center. That's it. Your gyro will be centered and you can take off again. And you can hit yourself in the head. Ready? No, I didn't feel anything even. So basically if the propellers hit you, that is another story. But Seeing how the propellers are ducted in this one is not going to be much... But seeing how the propellers are ducted in this, they are not going to harm you unless you put your eyes inside the ducts. And I'm not sure how you're going to do that. <laughs> so yes, super fun to fly, man. This quadcopter is very much fun to fly. And I'm so much looking forward to flying it. FPV. So the battery is running out. Let me charge this battery. I have a battery in another quadcopter as well and that is an FPV version and for that I have set the uh, chairs and stuff. I have an indoor playground for that. So for that I don't have to bother Miriam. I have to fly it and record the DVR footage for you all to see and see how good this can be. Now with the camera on board it does give a little less flight time but without camera plenty of flight time for you to play. Super fun, super nice, highly recommended if you're looking forward, if you're looking for a quad to have fun indoors and turn it into FPV later, this is the one. Enjoy. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.